Hello, I'm Tim Nichols, and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth, and today we're not doing Bibles. We're doing two books put out by Lexham Press and written by Dr. Michael Heiser. So let me set this up a little bit. Dr. Michael Heiser is majoring on the sons of God, the divine counsel, and basically that God creates other beings like himself called Elohim that are subject to him. So they're called gods in the Bible, but they are not the one true God. They're created by him. He believes there were three separate falls. One of them happened in Genesis chapter 3 when Satan fell. The other one happened in Genesis chapter 6 when the sons of God fell with the daughters of men. And boy, doesn't that stir up a lot of controversy. Were those angels? Were those kings? Were those the godly line of Seth? He believes that it was the angelic rank or the Elohim, the divine part of the divine council. So anyhow, he believes the third fall happened in Genesis chapter 11 when the Tower of Babel was built and the nations were divided. And he bases this on Deuteronomy 32, 7 and 8. You need to go read that, but what you need to do is first you need to read it in either the King James or the NASB, and then you need to read it in the ESV or one of the modern texts that uses textual criticism. Because what happened is in the Masoretic text, which uh, I think the oldest copies we have are like 1000 AD, it says that he divided the nation's inheritance according to the sons of Israel. But in all the older texts, including the Septuagint, it says he divided the nations according to the sons of God. So Michael Heiser's argument is that there are territorial principalities that fell in Genesis chapter 11, and it was spoken about by Moses in, Gen uh, in uh, Deuteronomy 32 about this division of the nations and the separation into the sons of God. That is his entire premise of the book Demons. Now, this is a very interesting book. I'm going to tell you what, this book is a mind bender. The thing that really blew me away about this is he goes back to the Hebrew writings and he talks about words like death and things that we see translated like Leviathan and, and all these really strange creatures, uh, howling wolves and, 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 and goat demons. And, and what are these things? And he really breaks this down and he talks about the fact that we lose a lot when it comes from translating into the English from the Hebrew. A lot of times we make the mistake of translating proper names. For example, sometimes death simply means death in the Bible. Someone dies, but sometimes it's referring to death as the demonic entity, as the evil angelic rank or force. So very interesting. Now this one is a much easier read and it's far more exciting. And he basically just talks about the different ranks of angels. And he also talks about how Satan sets up a counterfeit that looks similar in nature. Now, let's talk about the structure of the book real quick. Okay, you have a slip cover. Um, it's, it's really kind of, uh, it almost feels like it's waxy. It's got a strange feel to it, but I mean, I have beat this thing up. I have taken it to Christmas events. I've gone everywhere, read it everywhere I go. So let's go ahead and take the slip cover off because I want to show you what the book looks like. They are both basically the same. So it has um, gold stamping on your spine. It is a glued binding. But, I mean, like I said, I've, I've given this thing the rough treatment, and it's done absolutely fine for me. I've marked in it. I've written in it. Now, one thing I want you to make sure you do if you get this book is do not ignore the footnotes. The footnotes are super valuable in helping you give greater context. One of the things that Michael, Dr. Michael Heiser does is he uses the Euretic text, several Mesopotamian texts, um, Canaanite text. And he uses them all to build this world that the Bible existed in and kind of gives us context to the world around the Israelites to help us understand kind of what they believed and how they felt about things. So this is definitely something that will stretch you theologically. But here's what I'm going to describe these books as. It's like taking your theology to the edge of the cliff as far as you can take it without going over. Now, one thing Michael Heiser does say is this is a secondary thing. It does not change his view of the gospel and its importance. This is just a topic that happens to fascinate him. He's got a ton of YouTube videos. I highly recommend that you get this. I'll put the link in the description with the price and all that, but this is some interesting stuff. Anyhow, there you have it. This is your Nichols work. Keep calm. Jesus on.